Boo Leslie, no, boo. Here comes the boo, all dressed in boo. Boo Leslie, no, boo, boo, boo. Dude, what are you doing? I'm being awesome. Boo, boo, Leslie, boo. My friend, I don't think you understand what a bad idea this is. I don't think you understand that I would have got a cut of that new punch burger if she hadn't screwed everything up, so. Sorry, guys, this wedding is canceled because the bride is a beehole. Hey. Check this out. Stink bomb, who knows what that does? Oh. Uh, stink bomb, are you joking? Oh my God, where did you even get a stink bomb? Amazon, baby, that's how. You are looking at a prime customer, everybody. Two days free shipping for this guy. Let's get this party started with another one, gang! No! Ah, it's terrible, Jerry, you do the wedding, who cares? Come on, man, just go home. Now, who's gonna make me? It's your wedding day. I'll handle this. Here comes the bride. Time to go, sir. No. Hey, get off me, what the hell, man? Don't you touch me? Uh... I'll give you that one. But if you do it again... Oh, if I, I do what again? What, kick your ass? Is that what you like? You want me to just oh. pout? Oh. Oh. Yay, best wedding ever! <laughs> Peralta! Yo, I looked at the photos of your victim on your desk. Is that Peralta? Oh, I said hi. Puncture wounds are similar to a case I had a while back. They aren't from a knife. I think it's something spiral like a corkscrew. <laughs> Don't shush me, I'm helping you. No, no, I'm holding a baby. That was actually very helpful, thank you. Uh oh. You better get back here now. Oh! Hello, Peralta. Oh! No, no, no. I don't know why you're so upset, man. I'm the one who had to come into this backwater stink hole. What's up, little man? What's up? You feeling sexy, huh? Yeah, I feel sexy. Yeah, you look sexy. You man. know I do. Watch out for that door. Yo, how much you bench? Seriously. Captain, please, please, pretty please do not let him take over my case. Major Crimes is stepping in. Nothing I can do. You're off the case. I can't believe you're just rolling over and giving my murderer away to the Vulture. We call him the Vulture because he swoops in and solves cases that are almost solved and takes the credit for himself. Yes, Boiler, put that together from context. First of all, Major Crimes has jurisdiction over any and all cases they want to take. But more importantly, you're the one who insisted on working alone. I told you for weeks to use the squad, and you refused. I used them. I mean, Rose is the one who figured out the corkscrew, and Charles caught a dog. Well, congratulations, Detective Boyle. You should have involved them sooner. Turn over your files to Detective Pembroke. Sir, call him the vulture. Giving him a name makes him human. Turn over the files. Fine. But in protest, I'm walking over there extremely slowly. Thank you. God, this is so boring. For both of us. Hey, you know, before I solve this case, I'd like to thank you for doing all the super easy work. You know, the real Nancy Drew level stuff. Oh, yeah? Did Nancy Drew solve a lot of murders? Yeah, she did. Murder on ice, recipe for murder. Nancy was a wonderful detective. I wanted to be her when I grew up. Thanks, Charles. That's helpful. Hey, should we take odds on how fast I'll solve this case? Nope. I mean, what was it with Diaz's last impossible extortion case? What was it, six hours? That's because it was 98% solved. The last 2% are ours to get. That's why they leave it in the milk. What? Oh, wow. Looking good, Santiago. Looking foxy, ma. Go rotten hell. This is your fault. Thanks, champ. Good effort. I got it from here. And hey, you feel free to call me anytime you need me to come down here and help powder that big white ass of yours. Mm. Well, that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I sit here. You know, I, uh, I know a little bit about what you're going through, in a way. Um, when I was a kid, my parents got divorced. They both wanted custody, and they both asked me to testify against the other one in court. So, I don't know. I didn't want them to get divorced in the first place, you know? I loved them both so much. I just wanted to...
Okay, so let's get ready for the photo, guys. I want you to arrange yourselves from most excited about democracy to least excited. Wait a minute, everybody's excited? I bet you are, because your bill just became law. Well, you know, I can't believe you traded your office to keep this crap hole pool open for a couple more weeks a year. Hey, can you not say that in front of the kids, please? I'm trying to teach them how great government is. Oh, this is a teaching moment. Great. Hey, uh, kids, would you like to learn how Leslie got your bill passed? Councilwoman Nope traded my vote for her. <laughs> what the hell, man? Why'd you do that? Um... Um, because it's fun in the sun. Everybody in the pool! Yay, pool! Yay, democracy! Oh, no, my perm! Captain, I don't know if this is too much, but I got Deputy Chief Brant this little basket of pears. They look ripe and... Crispy. Hello, Raymond. Captain Wunsch, good to see you. But if you're here, who's guarding Hades? It's Deputy Chief Wunsch now. Unsurprisingly, I've been promoted above you, and now I'm here to evaluate you. What happened to Brand? He retired and moved to Charleston to be closer to his grandchildren. So much for dying at your desk with little dignity. Interesting. I will attempt to cooperate with you under these new circumstances. Don't sweet talk me, Halt. I gave it my best shot. Let's begin. Kelly, how are you? I just had the longest meeting. Hang oh, on. welcome to my convenience store. Would you like some googie googie? Oh, I have some very delicious googie googie. Only 99 cents plus tax. Try my googie googie. Try my googie googie. Try my googie googie. Try my. All right. All right. Yes. That was great. She gets it. Now she knows what it's like to be a minority. This rules. Did you know that my dream has always been to have my picture taken with a mountain of recovered cash? It's always been my dream to take that picture of you, Jake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Twenty-one <laughs> million dollars, Raymond. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, Madeline. I know you'd hope we fail. Oh, no, I couldn't be happier. Wait, why would you say that? And why aren't you clenching your little red hands in anger? You didn't want me to fail. You wanted me to succeed. That's right. I was looking for an excuse to promote you to a desk job, and you handed it to me on a silver platter with your little rat hands. Oh, no. Say goodbye to the 9-9, Raymond. I'm making you head of NYPD Public Relations. Captain! Get in here with me. Go ahead. Smile for the cameras, Raymond. That's your new job now. Next order of business. It's agenda item 280B, a motion to construct a dog park on municipal lot 48. Uh, Ms. Ludgate, you have the floor. Thank you, Councilman Jam. Your help and general non-awfulness is much appreciated. Leslie? Members of the council, I believe that municipal lot 48 should be a dog park. Boo, I... boo. Well, it sounds like there's considerable opposition to this, so I'm sorry, Miss Ludgate, you should go now. Really? I just heard one hag booing. Ladies, please, let's keep this civil. <clears throat> Councilman, Pawneeans, satisfied customers of Jam Orthodontics. As we discuss what type of park to put on lot 48, I had a thought. How about no park? Who here thinks parks are stupid? Let the record show that everyone is raising their hands. I happen to know for a fact that Pawnee's favorite fast food restaurant, Paunch Burger, needs a new location. Now, seeing as how the future of Lot 48 is open for debate, I move we sell it to Paunch Burger for a nice profit. You don't even have to be Asian to do math that simple. You told me you wanted a dog park. Uh, psych. It's not fair. You lied to me. You just got jammed. Uh, I hate when you said that.